Hello, welcome. Hope you're having an amazing day. Today, I want to share something with you. And this is regarding adding a different prices for different roles, or if you're using a different type of membership levels within your website, then people can have different pricing using the Wix store. Uh, one thing that you need to know is that it's currently not possible. So the way I'm going to show you on how you can accomplish this is using a little bit of Bello, and it's actually very, very easy. So let's get started here. I have here a page or a website that I have set to do this example, and this can also work with your classic editor or Wix Studio, doesn't matter. And I have two different pages. As you can see right now, I'm not logged in. So if I go here on store, on roll, which is this one, I have it set in a way that it will show a general store, but once I sign up or I log in uh, based on the role that I have, then it's gonna let me see the other stuff. Okay, so let's uh, go back here so I can show you. I'm gonna go under site members, and I'm gonna show you how to sign up here with a specific role. So I have this email that I just used for sign up. And then when we go here to log in, I can have one, two. And you'll see what happens, okay? So now you see a different store than what I have earlier. I'm still on the same page. But the way I did it and how this is possible is by using a little bit of code. And it's actually very simple to do. I'll guide you through the whole step. Uh, and the other thing that people have asked before is how can I uh, have a specific pricing for members that pay for some membership, right? So I have this other page, which is going to give me this message right here because I don't have access to it, right? So if I click Explore Plans, I have three. So for each of these three plans, if I select this one, then I click View Plan. Now I can see the page, and there you go. You can see I have a specific type of um, product or pricing for this uh, plan. But if I go here and I go to my subscriptions, I can go and cancel the subscription. And again, feel free to skip, but I kind of want to show you how this part works. So that way you'll see what we're doing here. So when I go to this part right now, it's still showing this because I barely canceled that. But when I refresh, oh, sorry, here. When I go here, it's still going to show the, the plan, right? But it takes a second once you refresh the page. Um, but now I don't have access to that one, so I'm going to get a different plan. So I'm going to get this one right here, and you'll see the difference. So I click Open Page, and now you'll see there's two different products. So technically, or the way you can do this is by having different categories and then just using a little bit of code to tell the system what to show according to that user. So let's get started. So how does this work? Okay, uh, let's talk about it. Uh, first, let me move this right here for now. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is if you already have the store installed into your website, then you just have to navigate to your app. So by going here, right, you'll see you already have your cat, uh, category page, thank you page, and all of this. And then we're going to add a page so that way we can start from scratch. So we're just going to call it um, on roll. And then right here. So your page will look something like this. You're going to go here on the store and then you can add any of the items that you want to use. For this spe uh, specific sample, we're going to use this one right here. So you'll add your uh, product. Um, item and then you can just expand if you want now you're gonna click on it and then you're gonna go where it says settings 
And under settings, this is where we're gonna uh, manage some things. Now, how are you gonna do this part is by going onto manage products and you're gonna create a specific um, category. So you're gonna go under categories in your products and you're gonna create the name of the category that you're gonna be using. So for this example, I have Horizon Expansion, Pick Selection, and the Classic Saver. Those will be the different plans I have. And they can be named anything you want. Uh, we just gotta make sure that once you're creating the code, you know which one is what. And then I have this one, which is VIP. And this is specific for someone that has a role. So depending on what you're doing, either I'm gonna show you both examples, but you do need to create the category. So if we go here on Horizon Expansion, I have these two products. So what I can do is create another category with the same products, just different pricing, because that's pretty much what you're trying to do, right? So if I create another category and then I just duplicate the products, now I have different pricing for those um, levels of membership or roles. That's how you will do it. So let's go here and I do new category and I can do Horizon uh, Premium. Okay. This is an example. And as you can see, I'm gonna add a product. So let's say when I use this one, right? Can add, but let's say uh, I wanna use this product, but with different price, I will just have to open a new product page here. And all I'm gonna do is just duplicate the product and I'm just gonna have it on a different category. And that's how you're like just being created about it. Uh, until hopefully in the future, if Wix releases a way of adding a new, um, adding a new way to have different prices for different memberships. But for the moment, this is how, how I found the solution. So I click duplicate here. And as you can see here, the price is 130. So for this one, I can just set it to, let's say 50 because they're getting a discount and then save, right? But also I'm gonna rename it because you can have the same product name. So the only thing I'm gonna add here is bottle uh, premium, right? So you can add something to it um, some kind of code to all those duplicate products, but pretty much it's gonna be exactly the same thing, just different items. So when we go to the back to the categories and I go to, uh, where do you go? I don't think we save it. So we're gonna go back here. I'm gonna name this Horizon Premium, right? And then I add my product, then I can add it right here, then add and then save. So you have your category ready. Then you can just go back to your page. And here, because we already did this, um, we can just cancel it because we already have it right here. It says right here. So we're gonna click this, close it. And then here on settings, we're gonna have it go to only show Horizon Premium, okay? So once I do that, I have only a single product. Okay, the design, you can change it to be um, whatever you like. Right now, I'll just have it like that. But you can again decide if you wanna do a smaller product, things like that. Let's minimize this so it doesn't look too ugly. Okay, so you have your single product and then you have the name of your section. So on this section right here, all you have to do is turn on your developer mode. Uh, for Wix Studio, it's gonna be in the left side. So you'll see this button, you just click start coding. If you're in classic editor, it's gonna be somewhere up here on the, on the bar and it's gonna say turn on developer mode. So either way, once you open it, it should look exactly like this. Once you're in this page, all you have to do is select this section and give it a name. So the name here could be, let's say, Horizon Premium Section. 
Okay. And then we're going to uh, duplicate this. And right here, we're going to add again our product so we can add the whole gallery. And then we can just click on settings. And I can go to just horizon expansion. So it should only show me those products, right? But as you can see here, I have it on those two and it's because I added it twice. So let's just fix that. So we're gonna go to the category one more time. So we're gonna go here. And that product on horizon expansions, we don't want the premium bottom, only that one. So it will show like this. So when we go, okay. So you have the first section. So this will be the premium of people that have a higher tier. That's why they're paying less, right? And then you have the regular people that are gonna pay more. Uh, so when we expand this, this you can name it something like uh, all users section. Okay. So now all you have to do is just click collapse and then this one will be collapse. And pretty much that's it for this part. So you can also do another section if you have, let's say, another type of product or item. And all you're doing is literally just hiding uh, and duplicating your products. I know it's a little bit more work, but that's again, the, the best way to do it at the moment. Uh, <clears throat> so now we're gonna go back to our other page so you can see how the code is gonna work. So, because I don't wanna kind of be redundant, right? So we're gonna go here. You'll see you have the, the sections right here. So this section, I call it VIP role. And then this other, I call it all users. And all we're doing here, and that's this is the cool thing, is that once you download the code, uh, you can go on the link that I'm gonna have on the description of the video. You can access this code. And let me explain you how it works. First here, we have the VIP role and we set it to collapse and then all your users section also have it to collapse. That means whenever a user comes in, they're both collapse, right? And what we're doing here is telling the system that if the user is logged in, then it, depending on the user role, is gonna show accordingly. So if there's user, uh, the user haven't logged in, it's gonna show them the bottom one where they can see all the products or they can see a specific product with a price. But if they're uh, already logged in and they have a specific role, then it's gonna expand. So that's why we have it here, the user role is VIP. Uh, and then again, you can just change the name for the, the role name that you're using. And that's it, it's very simple. One thing that I wanna add, because I wanna make sure this becomes easier for you in the future is I'm actually gonna be releasing a course to show you how you can modify this way faster. I'm gonna give you access to a tool that you can just pretty much paste your elements, I'm gonna show you how to use it, and it's gonna give you your own code. So you're not gonna have to be trying to modify the code yourself, even if you don't have any experience. If you're interested and wanna be on the waiting list, you can go to the link that I'm also gonna have in the description, and then you can put your first name, email, and join the club. Once I release the course, you'll be getting a notification, and you, again, don't have to worry about worrying how to create code. You can literally create any functionality you need. Okay, back to the, to the code. So, what we're doing here again is we're just telling the system how it's going to behave. And if we go back here on the other page that I have created, which is store based on plan, same concept. We're going to go here. We have the name of our section the way we created it earlier. It has the name there. 
and then we have it as collapse. The second section, we have it also collapse, and then the third one. So when we see the code right here, it's also super simple. And this is specifically made for people that have uh, plans, right? So as you can see here, we're telling the system, get pricing plans. The names of our plans are this. So if you have a different name, all you have to change is this right here without spaces. So if we go back to our plans, you'll see what they look like. Uh, it is case sensitive. So if it's lowercase, capital case, it has to look exactly like that, just without the spaces, as you can see here. And then once you add those, make sure your section names are also specifically to this one. So as you can see here, I have this section, section name here, and then the other section name right here. Uh, and then this should also match right there. So now you have all of this stuff. So once you click publish and you go to the actually page, right? And we'll refresh this. You should be able to only see the products. So as you can see right now, this account doesn't have this specific plan. That's, what, that's why it's showing you the $130 bottle. Or let me see. Yeah, $130 bottle. But we're going to change our plan. So we're going to do all my subscriptions. And then we can just cancel this one. And we can go back and get a new plan. So if we go to the buy a new plan, we can do something like, let's see here. Um, let's get the classic saver. So this one has just different products. And then get plan. And then got it. So when I go to uh, the page right here, now you can see it's right there. Also, again, the, you have to make sure that each of the categories don't have it in them. So when we go to the categories, the classic saver, it was added here. So you just got to make sure you adjust each category for the products that you added. But it should only be displaying the items that you have there. And then that's it. See, you have two products. So again, this is actually super simple to do. But if you still have questions, you need help, message me. Feel free to ask me questions, and I'll be very happy to uh, let you know. And see you on the next video. Take care.